Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, today we are going to be doing a very fun review on a Japanese and Korean beauty box. It's a subscription box just like we would have in the US such as BoxyCharm, Ipsy, um, FabFitFun, stuff like that. It's just a normal subscription box but it's full of Japanese and Korean beauty products. So No Make No Life reached out to me recently and wanted to know if I'd be interested in reviewing a box of theirs and talking to you guys and telling you guys how I liked it. Of course, of course I said yes because if you guys know me, you know how much I love skincare and how much I value skincare and makeup as well. So obviously I said yes and today I have the box, I've tried out the products and I can't wait to tell you guys about it. Really fast I want to mention, you're probably seeing this and if you are a fan of my main channel, it's Anna Louise, then you know that I have tons of aquariums and this one right now is being redone, that's why it looks like this. So just ignore that. But anyway, I want to go ahead and get into this review. So this is from No Make No Life. This is a really cute box, pink, looks super adorable. You open it up, woo, and everything is wrapped pretty in this pink wrapping paper. And the first thing you get is an adorable little makeup bag. Now this one's super cute. This like kind of gives me Ipsy feels because in Ipsy you get a makeup bag. This one's super adorable though. I love the coloring. So there's this, love that. And then you open it, you get the little pamphlet that kind of tells you all about the products that you get, which is really nice. And then the first thing I saw was this right here, and I thought it was so cute. I'm trying to put it back together so I can kind of show you guys. All right, this, it looks like a little milk carton, which is so adorable to me. This is by the brand, I think it's, it should just be, I think pronounced pretty, but it's P-R-R-E-T-I. And it's called the Pure White Milk Cream, Tone Up in Skincare. So this is what it looks like, and the actual bottle that's in it looks like this right here. So I got this in there. So this is like a moisturizer and it tones up the skin. I also saw this. It is a UV Care and Moisturizing SPF 31 um, by Hatom Hatomuggy. I can't really pronounce that, I don't think. And it's called UV Milky Gel. So I got this as well. I don't know if it will focus, but there we go. That's what it looks like. I got this little guy right here that looks like a little thing of strawberry syrup. And it is called the Yum Yum Lip Syrup Strawberry. I got this little stick right here that is called the Bling Bling Eye Stick. And then I got this foot moisture pack, these choosy gummies, and this little packet right here of, let me show you guys, blotting paper and band-aids. The band-aids, I was like, what? And I literally giggled and laughed at that for like a good 30 seconds. But anyway, that's what came in the box. Now let me tell you a little bit about the items. So I want to start with this one. I went to go test this out and I put it on my hands. It has a really strong smell of sunscreen, which makes sense since this is like a sunscreen moisturizer type like duo thing. Um, so it obviously makes sense that it would smell like sunscreen. Now for me, when you get a subscription box, it's not like you're always going to like everything you get and like everything will not always be for you. Um, and this was just one of those things. This is not really for me because of the harsh smell. I don't do good with harsh smells. But if you use moisturizer with sunscreen or you've been wanting to, then you would probably like this product. It just basically smells a lot like sunscreen, which is hard for me. But it is a nice consistency and it is also a good product to have. The second product that I want to talk to you guys about are these right here. These are supposed to have collagen in them and they're supposed to be for healthy lips. Now, this is the only product that I won't try out, and the only reason why is because of my health issues that I have. I may be overthinking and being just crazy, but I am really picky with what I put in my body, and I have a lot of bad reactions to things, so although I'm sure these are perfectly fine, I just don't... Okay. They fell. I just don't want to eat them because I'm just scared because of all the issues that I have. 
but they sound really awesome though and I would definitely try them if I didn't have a lot of issues. So the next product, which is something that I'm so excited to try out, I haven't tried it out yet, but I want to when my feet get really bad because I wear foot, like sandals and flip flops all the time and my feet get bad so easy. So I know this is gonna be great and I've never even tried a foot mask, but this is basically just the foot moisture pack. You put these like sock like things on your feet and let them soak and it's supposed to help your feet and make them look better and feel softer and all that good stuff. And I really love that they put this in the box. I think it's really, really nice and I can't wait to try it. And then I really wanna take a shout out to these little blotting papers. I genuinely got excited to see these because I've never tried them and honestly, I never even knew they existed until Fenty Beauty came out with the blotting paper. So I'm really excited to have these because I'm not gonna pay that money for like what Fenty Beauty sells theirs for. Obviously that's high end from Sephora. Not gonna pay that, but I really am excited to try these. And the next thing, which is probably my favorite out of the whole box, is the Pure White Milk Cream. It says Tone Up and Skin Care by the brand Pretty. This is so cute. This is what came obviously in the little milk carton. If it'll focus here, it's so cute. I put this on today under my makeup and so far it looks really nice and good. And this doesn't have a harsh smell either, which is nice. And whenever I put it on, I did notice that it left like a nice little glow on my skin before I put my makeup on. So I'm really liking this and I think that I'm gonna start using this every morning before I put on my makeup. So totally, totally stoked about this product. And next is this little Yum Yum Lip Syrup. It's what I'm wearing on my mouth right now. Um, obviously it doesn't match my makeup and <laughs> I'm gonna take it off after this. This product is super cute. I'm just not into like the childish packaging. I'm 21. This may, I mean, some people may like it. Don't get me wrong. It's just not my aesthetic. Um, and if you're younger, you may like this, uh, but, but it's just not for me. The product itself is nice. It is like in one of these little tubes, you like squirt it and then put it on your lips. I expected it to be sheer. Uh, but of course it's not. You get a really, really nice color payoff with it. And it does not feel bad on the lips at all. My lips are a little dry right now, but it, it's kind of like a chapstick, but it just doesn't work like a chapstick, if that makes sense. And finally, we have the Bling Bling Eye Stick by Etude House. I don't know if I said that right, but this is it. And it is just a little bling eye stick and you put it obviously on your eyes. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. My eyelashes are just, they need to be thrown away to be honest. So if they look like crap, ignore that. But anyway, they're on my eyes today. I really, really enjoy it. Um, it actually pulls off different, I don't know if this is, you're gonna be able to tell, but I fell off my stool. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera. It kind of looks light. But I really enjoy it because depending on what kind of eyeshadow you have on, it kind of flexes off a different color. This is obviously a really light eyeshadow. I did very minimal eyeshadow today and I actually had on a different like color before this and I just didn't like the way it went with my outfit, but this eye stick looked beautiful with it and it really popped. But with this eye look, the color kind of looks more cream and it's a lot more subtle. So it definitely like shows different with each eye look you do. And I really do enjoy it. And I think it's a really good product. So overall, I think my three favorite things are this, which I haven't tried yet, but I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll be good. It's for your feet. It's moisturizing. It's, it's nice. I love this. This is definitely my favorite. Plan on putting this under my makeup each day. And then the eye stick. Those are my three definite favorite products from this box. And also with a honorable mention to those, blotting sticks and the band-aids i think it's really nice but of course this is a monthly subscription box so it's not like you're going to get the same thing every month you will get new products to try which is definitely awesome and really cool now if you are a lover of subscription boxes and you would like to order yours they are 35 dollars, and you can use my affiliate link down below to get this product and other than that i really hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and come join the family. I make videos about beauty products, of course. I do reviews, monthly favorites, and my personal favorite, true crime videos. So definitely come join the family and I hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and I will see you guys in my next video.